always plan for the worst. Hello everyone, Dog Walker Dave here. Today on the channel, I have a 50K Ultra here in Calgary within the week, looking at Sunday, June 4th, south part of Calgary, and it's mostly trail, single track, but there is some asphalt and a little bit of crushed gravel as well on the trail. I went and scoped it out yesterday, ran down there numerous times over the last 32 years I've been here in Calgary. So I'm really looking forward to going out and doing an ultra. I haven't done an ultra in four years, various reasons, COVID, lots of different reasons, but I haven't really laced up for a long distance race in a long time, and I'm really looking forward to it. So what I wanted to do today is to go over my equipment choice that I have for the upcoming run, as well as my nutrition. Without further ado, we're gonna start with my head. Now, looking at the forecast for the next few days, and it is looking like this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here in Calgary, it's going to be rain. I would wager that probably going to get some rain on Sunday. So that's going to affect my gear choice. I have not done hardly any runs in the rain the last little while because we haven't had any rain here, but June is the rainy month in Calgary and you do what you can on the day. That will affect my gear choice. I'm also going to check out the forecast in the days leading up to the event because, hey, it's here in Calgary, you never know what the weather's going to do. It's always good to prepare for any type of situation, any type of weather on any given day. So that's why I go out and train in the minus 30s or the plus 30 Celsius or snowstorms and everything else like that because you never know what you're gonna get on race day. I'm gonna start at my head, trusty ball cap. I'll make sure I have a buff with me and maybe two because they're really lightweight and very versatile. Short sleeve running shirt. And then I'll have a long sleeve running shirt just in case. And what I'm going to do is have a dry bag, one of these, basically a waterproof bag, put the long sleeve in it. I'm going to have some arm warmers as well. The buff will go in there as well. So I'll keep these things dry because I don't know what the weather's going to be on that day. If it's raining first thing in the morning, I'll probably bring out the arm warmers and a t-shirt. And then on top of that, I have a waterproof jacket. I haven't run a very long distance in this jacket because I really haven't had the opportunity to run that long in the rain. So this is just gonna be a little bit of a test. A pair of my favorite running shorts. I love these Solomon running shorts. Linerless, and then I'll have a pair of boxer briefs I will also have my favorite pair of stamp socks. Lots of different ones to choose from. Polar H10 heart monitor strap paired up to my Phoenix 7. And I'll load the maps onto my watch even though it's not really a technical course or anything like that, but just nice to have. Then prior to putting my socks on, I have, and I swear by this, and I put it in a video a year and a half or so ago is something called Tegaderm. It's a type of wound care covering that works extremely well to put on those spots that you possibly could get a blister. And with it possibly being rainy, I'm going to put one of those on several different spots on my feet. And then just to be on the safe side, I will put this blister shield inside my socks because if you get wet feet and I'm going to be out there for several hours, I'm not sure how long it's going to take and I really don't care. I have no specific goals in mind other than finish and maybe have some fun while I'm out there. Probably about 40K later. It's not gonna be that much fun, but I'm going to go out and have some fun. So I'll make sure I have the blister shield. I'm going to carry this body glide with me in the pack but then I'll also put the trail toes, just another type of lubricant that I'm going to put in various spots around my body that I know that I probably will chafe, especially when it gets wet. And I'm going to make sure that I have, being a guy, I'm gonna put some type of covering over my nipples because if they get wet, it's, it's very uncomfortable from experience. Everything's gonna be loaded up in my Solomon Advanced Skin 12 pack. I love this thing. You can shove so much stuff in here and inside the pack in Ziploc bag. 
I have my med kit. I have rubber gloves, extra tegaderm. There's a lot of different things in here in my med kit. And some people might think, well, it's a 50K run. You're not gonna be out there for that long. And I'm not going to be in the mountains. So the weather, once it starts first thing in the morning, the weather probably won't change that much over the course of time. It's not like a storm can come in like it does in the mountains, but I'd rather be prepared for myself or maybe help with some other people on the trail because you never know what you can run into when you're out there for several hours. Okay, continuing on. On my feet and a review will be coming to the channel over the next little while here. I had someone from a shoe company called Tarkheim based out of Australia reach out to me several weeks ago and asked me if I'd like to try out their Trail Devil shoe. Here we go. And why I'm choosing to run in this over my Solomon Ultra Glide that I thought I'd be wearing, the insole in my Solomon Ultra Glide keeps on slipping no matter what I do. Two sided tape, I try to glue it down. It's just way too slippery underneath the insole. So I reached out to Solomon and they are going to give me a replacement, but I'm not going to have them in time. I'm going to go with these Trail Devils by Tarkine. Several different reasons. Lots of room in the forefoot. They are built much like an Ultra, a three and a half millimeter lug depth. And I believe that that's going to be perfect for these conditions. I'm not sure what percentage I'll be doing on hard pack or actual pavement uh, trails. These with the cushioning that they provide and the three and a half mil lug depth and the nice wide toe box going to be ideal for this type of run. Lastly, my nutrition. I will be going with Morton's Drink Mix 320 here. I'm going to be using three packages of this in my soft flasks. Possibly even put a little bit of table salt in these because they don't have that much sodium in them. I think it's only 200 milligrams in a package. I'll put probably a half of a teaspoon in a water bottle for each one of these. So what I'm going to do for my nutrition plan is have an electrolyte drink in one of my flasks, drink that for the first half hour, switch over to the Morton for an hour, polish off one of these over the next hour, then switch back to electrolyte drink, then another one of the Mortons, then switch back to the electrolyte drink, and then towards the end, I'm going to use the caffeinated version of the Morton just to get me through to the end. I will have extra calories on board we're going to have these scratch chews, a couple of packages of them. Even though the course itself provides lots of different food at five different aid station points throughout the course. So that's, they have more than enough food out there. But I'm going to make sure that I rely on just what I have. Because again, you can get hurt out there. Something could go really wrong. Even though the aid stations are only a few kilometers apart, you never know what will happen. And also to help out somebody else that possibly need some extra calories or extra gear or whatever. I'm um, packed more than enough for myself. So that's my game plan. If you have any extra tips and tricks that you'd like to share with everyone, put them in the comments below. We'd all love to hear from you. You have to go with what works for you. But I hope that this game plan I have with different types of equipment that I'm going to use helps you on your next adventure. Always plan for the worst. Have more than enough calories, have more than enough gear, have more than enough fluid on board in any type of adventure. You never know when you're going to use it. Thanks for watching everyone. Appreciate all the support. Get outside and good luck with all of your adventures and your racing. Cheers.